What's going on guys? 602 Boosa back at it again with another one. We're on our trusty sport bike here, Suzuki Hayabusa, talking about the rear brake. And it's funny because when people talk about rear brakes on sport bikes, they're just something that aren't used. They're there for no reason because, you know, why? You've got all this front braking power right here that can stop you on a dime. These uh, twin pistons, normal, I guess most super sports or hyper sport bikes have these two disc rotors for the front brakes and that's enough stopping, stopping power for some people. And that's enough stopping power for some people that uh, feel that only the front brake is necessary. But I'm here to tell you right now, you gotta use your rear brake. First off, it's there for a reason. Don't get it twisted that the rear brake is there just for show. That rear brake does have uses. Now that we're talking about sport bikes, why, oh, I got a lot of stuff over there. Why would a sport bike rider feel the need <clears throat> to use a rear brake? Well, how's it gonna benefit you? I mean, you can already stop. Like I'm about to stop right here, I'm gonna show you. Pull up on these cars and stop. That was just full brake right there, how quickly I stopped. So why would I need to use the rear brake? As um, most people know, or there's like a percentage, there's like a rule out there, and some, some of the numbers are skewed, but from what I hear, 80% of your braking power is done by your front brake. So that's why everybody tends to use it. That's really all you need to stop you in any situation. You know, car comes out in front of you, front brake. Coming to a stop sign, front brake. You know, you want to scare the person behind you, riding behind you, front brake. You know, just, just get a gob of that. But the truth about the rear brake is that while it does 20% of the work, it's still important. If you apply both brakes, it's going to get you to stop faster than just the front brake alone. I mean, no one can deny that. You can't tell me that, okay, I'm going to grab some front brake, and that's going to stop me just as fast as using both brakes. No, not going to happen. Not true. Using both brakes is going to give you 100% stopping power. So I don't see why people don't use it. You know, when people say, yeah, I don't, I don't use my rear brake, you know. And I hear a lot of reasons why people say they don't use their rear brake. One of the biggest reasons that I hear, especially from sport bike riders, why they don't use their rear brake is because they feel that if they use it, it doesn't do much. It doesn't have enough stopping power. Well, you're right. It's not going to have enough by itself, like right now. I'm going to use the rear brake to try and stop. And I can use it to stop. The rear brake works. I mean, if you mash down on it, it'll work. But if you're at speed going 50, 60 plus miles an hour, that rear brake isn't going to stop you as much as your front brake. That much is true. But when you combine them both together, it makes it that much better. So yeah, you're right. It doesn't have enough stopping power. That's why you have to use it in conjunction <laughs> with your front brake. Rear brake alone is not going to stop me if this car right here just comes to a stop. I got to use both. I can't just rear brake it. I mean, I'll slow down, but I'm not going to stop nowhere near as fast if I use both brakes. So when people say it's not enough braking power, you're right. It's not enough. That's why you got two brakes. Use them both. I don't understand why, you know, people feel that it's not necessary, but trust me, it works once you use the brake properly. Yeah, so don't feel that the brake, so don't feel that the rear brake just isn't powerful. It's, you know, it's, again, it has to work in conjunction. You got to use them together. Another issue people talk about when it comes to the rear brake is that, well, I always have to, like, you know, press on it so hard just to feel like it's braking. You got to remember, again, that goes into the same thing. The rotor in the rear tire is much smaller than the front. It's not going to have the same stopping power, and plus you've got two large rotors up front. So yes, you're gonna have to really mash on it for you to be able to feel it by itself. So yeah, that's, so yeah, you can get the rear brake to stop your bike quick, but you're gonna slam on it. And that leads into something else. A lot of people don't like to use the rear brake because they feel it locks up the rear tire. You know, just to, you know, in a panic mode, you know, people just like grab a bunch of front brake and grab, you know, and just slam on that rear. I mean, that's what people do when they panic what a lot of people do, a lot of riders, what they do is they'll panic and they'll slam on the front brake and then they'll go over the front. Well, what happens if you slam on your rear brake? 
Well, that rear tire is gonna lock up. It's gonna start sliding, fishtailing. It's gonna send you wobbling like this, you know, like that. It'll start wobbling like crazy. That rear is gonna fishtail. So what do you think is gonna happen if you slam on that rear brake? Well, it's gonna fishtail. You're gonna go down probably if you slam on that rear brake. So just like with the front brake, it's all about control. You have to know how to use that brake so that way it'll be effective. It's just like riding your bike. The only way you're gonna be able to ride effectively is by proper technique. A lot of people don't have the proper technique, so they say they don't use it, which is sad. So the truth is that you shouldn't have to fear your rear brake. Your rear brake is not your enemy. It's also not something on your bike that was just put there as an afterthought. It's there for a reason. And you got good uses out of your rear brake. There's good times to use your rear brake. I know personally when I'm in parking lots and I'm doing some low speed maneuvering through parking lots, I use my rear brake all the time because that's plenty of power for me to be able to stop my bike, to make little adjustments, and I don't have to take on gobs of front brake. I could just take my time and use that rear brake. That's a perfect opportunity to use it, especially on a sport bike. Especially one as big as this, you don't need to have a huge brake to stop your bike if you're going five, 10 miles an hour. Your rear brake should be just fine for that. So don't think that you have to use your front brake for everything. You can use it, especially in parking lots. Another good time I like to use it is if I want to fine tune my angle in corners. The last thing you know that you gotta do, which everybody knows, this is like the golden rule, the last thing you wanna do is be in midterm, 45 degree lean angle, and slam on that front brake. That's the last thing you wanna do. But you know you need to slow down. What's another way to do it without having to A, grab a bunch of front brake, or B, you know, just chop the throttle, you know, turn the throttle off, and still you're getting the same, almost the same effect as the front brake, you know? You're gonna lose a lot of that, uh, you're gonna lose a lot of your traction by just cutting off the throttle. You wanna keep it smooth, so what can you do? Use the rear brake, just a little bit. You don't even need a lot. Believe me, that will help you. Most guys I see that panic when they're going through a turn where they've gone in too fast, the tendency for some inexperienced riders is to just grab the front brake. That's gonna just lift the bike straight up right into where you're gonna crash. No, you gotta keep that lean angle, use the rear brake. That's what it's there for. You ever heard of this term called trail braking? It's an advanced technique, but trust me, if you know how to use it, if you learn how to use it rather, man, that's gonna just improve your riding that much more. You'll be much more smooth and much more comfortable in those corners if you know how to trail brake, if you know how to use your rear brake mid-corner. If you have to use a rear brake, that's what you wanna use if you're mid-corner. So again, you got a couple of good uses out of using your rear brake. In fast situations and in slow situations, you can use your rear brake. But how do you develop that technique, especially on a sport bike? Best way to practice it is every time you stop, get into the habit of using both your brakes. Don't just slam on the front brake all the time because that's just developing more bad habits. Get used to using both brakes and then it'll become second nature to you. It's a really good habit to pick up. I use it all the time and I love the way I feel when I use, my, when I use both my brakes because I know I'm getting 100%. I don't want to settle for anything less. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to stopping your bike, when you need to, you don't want to settle for anything less. You want to be able to get 100% braking power. And the only way that you're going to do it is to use them both together smoothly. And when we're talking about together, I'm not talking about front brake and then rear brake, you know, second. You got to get used to just hitting them both at the same time. Get used to that. It'll come like second nature like this, this curve right here. Use your rear brake in the middle of the turn if you went in too hot. Perfect example. So don't be afraid to use the rear brake. So whatever sport bike you ride, whether it be a super sport or a hyper sport, whatever sport tour, use that rear brake. It's not a super powerful brake, but it's there for those fine tuned adjustments that are critical in the middle of a turn, 
at low speed maneuvering and even in everyday street riding if someone cuts you off or you got to make a quick stop especially this like if I didn't pay attention oh, both brakes boom I'm safe now if you really want to get good you got to combine that with using your clutch downshifting if you can combine that together man you'll never know how good you'll get until you start combining those techniques, especially on a sport bike. So I'm telling you, use your rear brake. Don't be afraid of it. Don't believe the hype when people tell you that using your rear brake is pointless. It is not pointless. Get in the habit of using it in the right situation. Get in the habit of using the, get in the habit of developing the proper technique so you'll be able to use that rear brake because again, I can't stress it enough, that rear brake is there, it is your friend, and it can get you out of trouble if you use it right. 602 out.